it's surprisingly fast. 3,000 RPMs, it's not really paying much attention to you. And above about 5,000 RPMs, it really, really just wants you to change gear. But you find that sweet spot, and this really has a surprising amount of pull. Hey, wake up the V6. You're not exactly gonna lose this car in a parking lot. It's really distinctive. When you stand alongside this car, you start to get a sense of how enormous it really is. I mean, you've gotta get into something the scale of like an Audi A8 to get into a car that is this large. The styling of this four-door charger is actually what the first generation should have been. This huge stamped scoop in the side doors is a direct reference back to that old 69 Charger. The thing is though, Chrysler went big with it, and I think it's successful. And because this car is so big, look at the wheels. These are 20s on this car. They're swallowed by the wheel wells. I love this full rear tail light on the Charger. I mean, that is a distinctive feature that references back to the original version and is iconic. It doesn't look like any other car on the road. This black top edition has a few extra little things to make your V6 version that much angrier. You get the blacked out wheels, you get the blacked out grill. I am actually surprised at how good these seats are. However, they're made for somebody that's way fatter than I am. How enormous is the enthusiast that is supposed to drive this car? These are the best seats of the three American car manufacturers. And frankly, as astonished as I am to say it, I think Chrysler and Dodge are now offering some of the best interiors of any U.S. automaker. There's a strange piece of plastic over the gauges that has a tendency to refract light in a kind of an odd, bulbous way, but that's pretty much the only major critique I've got of the entire instrument panel. All the surfaces are very clean, they're very pleasing shapes to the eye. It's not edgy or trendy. The door panels reflect the styling theme on the outside of the car. When was the last time you saw that, if ever? The shift knob looks like it could come straight out of an Audi. Now, it's hard to use because every time I think I'm in the right gear, but I'm not. You've got to watch because it's a toggle switch, essentially. It's like driving. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.